Good afternoon, this is Ron Brown. It is uh, 2.30 on uh, Friday afternoon, September 2nd. I'm going to uh, continue uh, discussing uh, the accumulation scan and uh, just take a look at the market. Anyway, here's my standard risk disclaimer. As usual, any stock index or ETF mentioned in this presentation is not a recommendation to buy or sell all trading strategies at your own risk. If you don't have HGSI, you should uh, get the trial version, give it a try, so you can uh, use some of these techniques that I demonstrate. You can go to the website at highgrowthstock.com and find a link to the trial. No credit card is required. You can uh, try it out for 30 days. Now this is a view that I look at on uh, one of my computers. By the way, if you have HCSI subscription, you can run it on two computers. So I usually run this on my laptop. I just leave it there during the day. It's called uh, Scorecard uh, ETF. Intraday view right down here under my folder for a top-down process views for ETF analysis. It's the number two view and uh, what this does is it uh, goes into the major markets in my expanded user groups my market analysis groups and it's uh, folder number two and i just click through to the warehouse and then this just runs all day and it updates every five minutes so i can get a feel for the ebb and flow of the markets this covers a broad spectrum. Here's the ultra short VIX. Uh, there's ETFs for gold. Gold miners enter all the standard ETFs: oil, gasoline, uh, the ARC funds. Uh, these are these are all in here, and you can see now that these are primarily red. At uh, 2:30 this morning, they were mostly green. That, so, uh, just by letting this run, I can see the transition in the market during the day. Now the market was strong initially this morning come off, coming off of the jobs report. I, uh, it was really just a uh, trap move in my opinion. I mentioned in my uh, NASDAQ posting that uh, I doubt if uh, a lot of people are going to be taking uh, long, new long positions over the weekend going into the Labor Day holiday and um, that's exactly what happened. I didn't know that. It was just an assumption on my part. I knew I wasn't going to be adding uh, any positions at this point because uh, there are so many things that uh, could go wrong during those three days. Plus, I really don't see uh, that many stocks uh, that are in uptrends. But uh, anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, this is one way to look at it, but uh, what I've done is I've... Uh, when you download the July add-on this weekend, you're also going to find a new folder for ETFs. I showed the folder for stocks the other day, but I put an accumulation distribution folder in here for ETFs. So if I go to number two, which is, well, these are all intraday. So I go to number one. Number two has the fan up and there are none. Number one shows accumulation on these two the ultra VIX and the tip bond shares and that's it. If I go to the distribution side you can see that a lot of these are under distribution. Now it doesn't cover every ETF that I just showed you in that folder because certain requirements have to be met. There has to be uh, enough volume compared to the 20 day moving average volume has to be above that and then the uh, uh, percent range has to be 0.40 or below. And you can see here's the intraday range here. But the, these are the ETFs that are being distributed at the moment. Like I said earlier today, a lot of these are being accumulated. So th this is really a, sh a short-term indicator. Let's just take a look at uh, the biotech stocks. And you can see that when this was looked at or when I looked at this earlier this morning you can see it was under accumulation moving up it opened here and for a while it was under accumulation but that soon reversed that is if the volume were high enough compared to the 20 
I don't have a snapshot of that, so this is just an assumption on my part. But uh, uh, look at all of these ETFs that are going down today, but look at these columns here, the days since the three crosses six. All of these are weak indexes, and it was a very short rally this morning. It's tough to buy these stocks that are in a downtrend. A lot of people try to bottom fish them, and what happens? They get caught just like they did today. So you have to be disciplined and not chase every movement up in the market uh, uh, when uh, the market is uh, reacting. You have to take a look at the longer term or the intermediate term trends here uh, with the threes, three, with the three below the six on all of these. Uh, I uh, would be very reluctant to take, to take any of these accumulation trades. Uh, earlier today. Now looking at the accumulation side, you can see the Ultra VIX crossed over five days ago, which would be back here. It crossed over and it it uh, really uh, has chopped around more than anything. And uh, this is really just a short-term trade anyway, like an intraday trade. Let's take a broader look at the markets now. I'm in, in the major market ETFs, but if I do go up to all securities, it's going to go in and just capture ETFs because of the way the filter is set up. So these are the ETFs that are under accumulation now. Let's go on, make sure I'm on accumulation. And if I want to look at only look at the ones where the fan is up where the moving averages are stacked I just go to this next one right here and there's only three of them and uh, here's the ultra short uh, Europe ETF the wisdom tree US dollar bull emerging bear markets times three and oil and gas exploration and production let's bring this one up since oil has been uh, pretty popular and you can see that uh, even though this candle's red this is under accumulation based upon my criteria because it's above the 0.60 intraday range and volume is above average compared to the 20 day average volume so consequently in the short term here it is under accumulation now I'm going to move up to the emerging markets bear you can see it's at 94.23% of its daily range. When it opened this morning, it was actually down and then it reversed as accumulation came into this and now it's near the high of the day. Now generally I like to look at a more targeted group. So let's go back to my market analysis user groups and you can see that there are major market ETFs here. Uh, these are all HCSI indexes. Anything with an HCSI uh, does not contain uh, ETFs. These are the spider sector ETFs, and these are the sector spider ETFs expanded. So let's go into that one. And you can see that only the one, the XOP, is up accumulation at the moment. By the way, there's only about 20 minutes left in this market. Uh, so let's look at distribution. And you can see that 20 of these are being distributed. And then there are other ETFs in this group. If I uh, hold my shift key and click on the filter, you can see that there are 39 ETFs in here. But they don't all meet the, my uh, requirements of being either under accumulation or distribution. So let's do this, reapply the filter. There are none under accumulation right now. So I believe uh, the oil was, and if I click on distribution, there are 20. But there are those other ETFs which are not showing up because they don't meet the filter criteria. I'm going to drop down to another group. These are the most popular ETFs or the most liquid ETFs. Uh, I'll release the filter and show you that there are 
22 in here, if I reapply the filter, it shows me that 11 of these are under distribution. Are there any under accumulation? The Ultra Pro Short QQQ or at the SQQQ is and the Ultra VIX once again. So you can see when it opened this morning down here at the bottom, it was under distribution and then it reversed. When it reversed and came off the low and got up to 0.60% of its intraday range, it went into the accumulation column. Conversely, I'm trying to get to my distribution. The financial sectors, the XLF, opened here and then it moved up. It was under accumulation and then when the market reversed, when it got down to a 0.40 or below on the intraday range, then it went into the distribution mode and it's now at 1.44% of its range. So just by looking at the most popular ETFs and going back and forth with accumulation and distribution, you can see what's going on with these groups or these ETFs, I should say. And let's do one more and then I'll end this video. I'm going to go down here to the ETF rotation folder number 16, primarily iShares. There are lots of ETFs in here. If I take the filter off, it shows that there are 126. And I put this together several years ago because it just gives me an idea of uh, the rotation based upon uh, uh, lots of different things. U.S. markets, foreign markets, uh, commodities, and things like that. So if, if I click on accumulation, you can see that out of those 126, only seven are under accumulation, and they're short ETFs, two of them, three of them, four of them, and then the t uh, tip bond shares also are under accumulation. If I go to distribution on ETFs, you can see uh, here's some country ETFs that are down, the Russell, the S&P 500 financials, growth, and so on. So just by going back and forth with a larger group like this of 126 ETFs, I can compare distribution to accumulation. And clearly, this reflects what's going on in the market today. I was going to end this, but quickly, just out of my own curiosity, I'm going to go up here to All Securities, and then I'll click back through to the warehouse, and now I'm going to go down to my folder. This, um, I may rearrange this. Uh, it's, uh, I got this under the leaders, most active, gaps, reversals, and so on, my accumulation for stocks. Uh, this may, um, I need to do some rearranging to make this a little more accessible. But uh, let's just take a look at this. It's updating. And out of all securities, only 28 of these stocks are showing accumulation based upon my filter. If I click on this, you can see market metals and mining, oil and gas. These are major industries. Let me go to industries. Precious metals, a lot of bottom fishing and precious metals, and then biotech, application sort of software, and so on. I'm just going to leave this up. I'm going to go down to distribution. Remember the number 28. Go to distribution. Look at this. It's 170. And what do we have here? Application software. Tech stocks, primarily banks are down, diversified banks, biotech, and so on. So you can just get a quick read on this. Let's go back to accumulation. And if I were looking to potentially buy one of these stocks, uh, which I'm not in a market like this, uh, a quick way to do this is to go into your ranking module and make sure that it's set on Wilder 14 weeks. And by doing this, it will bring the stocks or ETFs 
that are trending best, or the, the best trends, I should say, to the top. Let's get rid of this. Let's take a look at the weekly on here. And you can see this is a cheap stock, but look where this has come from. Up over 100% in a matter of uh, several weeks. Let's go back to that ranking module. You can see that this is a really nice trend on this stock. It's under accumulation and it's been moving up nicely. Let's, let's go one more. And you can see this is a more expensive stock, but look at the trend on here. Now let's go down, take a look at the far end, and you can see that these stocks, this stock's going in the opposite direction. So this is something I figured out quite a while ago. It's just I, I can uh, see which are the strongest relative strength stocks, and by using the Wilder relative strength 14 weeks, it generally pulls up uh, stocks or puts the, the stocks within this group that have the most powerful charts at the top of the list. Now, if you have a bunch of stocks in a group that all have poor charts, it's just going to rank them according to the best stocks of that poor group. Okay, that's it. Let's go down to the middle here. Let's look at one in the middle front line, which is still a pretty good looking chart, but it, uh, it helps with relative strength. Now as I'm doing this, the composite is down uh, 190 points. Uh, at one point this morning, I believe it was up uh, 150 points. So it was it was just a fake out and uh, it's no surprise that it's uh, it reversed uh, and is going down going into the long weekend. Have a good week this uh, weekend, a uh, safe week weekend, and uh, this is going to serve as a uh, uh, my weekend report also. Thank you for listening.